What the heck is up, everybody and their grandmas that are watching this video right now? And I'm pretty sure you guys already know why I say that. But Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. And as you guys can see, this time it's going to be of the SH Figure Arts brand new 2.0 Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And my, does this figure look dope. So let's go ahead and take a look at one thing before we get into that. Now you guys know me, so you know exactly what we get into first in all of my reviews, and that is that sexy packaging, and man, is that packaging sexy, man. I love the brand new Dragon Ball Z stylish boxes. I really dig these. How you can see most of the figure on the side right here with a few accessories. Name right there, SH Figure Arts right there. Goku right there. Goku again up there. All this stuff at the bottom that doesn't matter. Bandai Tamashii Nation, so you know that it's real, and uh... Cool pose right there. I don't know. I like that face. Anyway, more on the side. Just Goku. Instant transmission. Goku. Right there, you get his fist. Uh, it connects to... Never mind. I thought it connected to one of the images. But it doesn't. Super Saiyan 3 at the bottom. Like I said, stuff down here that doesn't really matter. A couple more images. Poses you can get him into on the back along with the accessory for powering up. I can't think of what it's called. But uh, yeah, you got that right there. All this stuff that doesn't matter that absolutely nobody reads. And the barcode, of course, where they scan it out nothing on the side like i said nothing on this side of the top so yeah cool packaging it's yellow it fits goku at super saiyan 3 and i dig it like i said these packages are awesome so let's move right along now straight out of the package i can see exactly why people are saying this is the best goku because man this thing is absolutely phenomenal i dig it I see why you guys are saying that. I didn't understand the hype at first. I thought, hey, this is just another Goku, but it's there. If you don't have this figure right now and you're questioning it, at the beginning of this review, I am telling you, pick it up. This figure is absolutely awesome. I dig it. And um, there's a few things I'm not a fan of that I actually like on this figure. First of all, I hate metallic hair. I'm just not a fan of it. But with this one... I dig it. It works well. I was thinking about getting some of the clear coat spray and I was going to spray it down to make this a little bit more matte, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to leave it how it is. So this figure, man, right now I don't have any complaints, but uh, I dig it. Just look at that. Like it looked a little dry and bland in some pictures that I saw before, which kind of took away my hype for it. But man, and I'm late. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a million reviews on this one. If you are watching this review, thank you, by the way. But I'm late getting this figure, and I see why everyone loves it. But with that said, let's go ahead and put this guy back and take a look at how tall he is real quick. Now, for the people who care about the height, once again, here he is standing right at five, a little bit under five and a half inches. So he seems a little small. Not sure if he is or not, but I'll compare it to some other Dragon Ball Z figures in a little bit. But for those of you who are also wondering, his hair is about three and a half inches. So if any of you are wondering about that, now you know. I don't know. I just figured that would be a good fun fact. Moving right along. Now, articulation-wise, let's see what we got here. He looks up only about that much. You guys already know why, so I don't have to explain it. Looks down about that much, which is really good. His hair, of course, is articulated. All this is, I'm not sure if it's on a ball peg or what. Let me see if I can get it out of there. Uh, nope, not going to try. But um, it does swivel, so I'd imagine it's on a ball peg. I'm not pulling that out because I don't want to break anything. His head, of course, is on a ball peg, so you can turn that however you want. The next system with this guy is a little bit different. I'm sure all of you guys know this already. You're not going to be able to take any other Goku head and put it on here. It's just not going to work. So, yeah, if you want to get it modded, I've seen a couple people do it. Go ahead and go for it. Now, for the diaphragm joint that we got here, I highly appreciate that. I love that they added that. He does have a waist swivel, of course. These move so you can pose his arms a little bit better. And 
I'm not going to move them up real high, but for everyone who had a Goku figure, you already know what these arms can do. Does have a swivel right here, double jointed elbows. His hand is on a ball peg. The only limitation you have is at the cuff right there, which ain't that bad, or wristband, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, they move around just as much as the standard Goku. Foot goes up that forward, love that. Foot goes back that far, gosh, I love that. Goes out about that much. Uh, this one's a little stiff right here. I don't know why, but I'm definitely not going to force it. Let me see if I play around with it. Mm, yeah, this one's a whole lot stiffer, but yeah, this one goes out about that much. And I'm pretty sure yours can do the same on this side. I'm just not going to force mine. Double jointed knees. Uh, kind of don't like the way that knee looks, but I mean, it's much better than the first one. So I can get used to it. Does not have a swivel at the boot at all. And his ankle pivot compared to the very first Goku is just, you guys can see it, way better. You can actually get him to stand on that. So that's good. And of course, he does have a toe hinge. So articulation wise, definitely give this guy 9 out of 10 just because mine's screwing up right here. I really cannot get that to go out and I don't know why, but whatever. So like I said, articulation wise, great. Now let's go ahead and move on to some accessories now for accessories he comes with of course his standard fist hands that every Dragon Ball Z figure should get and every action figure should get he comes with this awesome smirking face right here from when he first transformed Super Saiyan 3 and fights Majin Buu looks really good I will say the faces on this guy before I even show them off look great now let's see if I can get him to stand up again wait there he goes I tipped the hair. There we go. I don't think he's going anywhere. Now, for other faces, he comes with a teeth gritted face, which looks awesome. One that we definitely needed, especially since the first one didn't come with but two faces. So, I definitely dig that. He comes with a powering up, slight charging, or attacking face that I dig as well. All these faces look so cool. And he comes with the face that he made right after he transformed when he's looking to the side at Majin Buu. I'm so glad that they added this. Man, these faces just look awesome. Super Saiyan 3 Goku with four faces. That's just awesome. Now I'll run through the hands quickly because it's nothing you haven't seen before. He comes with, of course, his stylish pole hands. Or stylish pose. I said stylish pole. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, we've seen these before. He comes with these... Blast effect, karate chop hands, whatever you want to call them. Come with every Goku, of course. He comes with what I like to call the Kamehameha hands or gripping hands or stylish pose hands, whatever you guys want to call them. But, you know, we've seen them in everything. And, of course, he comes with these hands, the blasting hands, which every single Dragon Ball Z figure should come with. And I'm glad that they include that. Now, last but not least, what tripped me out the most was the fact that he comes with two of these and it's the transmission hand for both hands i think now i might be wrong we've only seen him do it with his right hand so for them to actually include one for the left was kind of it's like whoa okay instant tamashi you guys are putting in a little bit more work bandai tamashi nations i see you extra hands that's unlike y'all wish y'all could put that extra work in somewhere else but i'm not complaining anyway move right along now, here's where it gets a little bit disappointing just to me, but um, here he is standing next to the normal version of Goku they released. Actually, this is Goku on Gohan's body because I don't have the regular Goku anymore. I just got this head from the Super Saiyan Blue. But um, as you guys can see, he is taller, which kind of sucks because it means that this body right here, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku body is smaller. And... I thought that was going to happen, but, um, oh, his hair stuck in the deal. Okay. Interesting. But, um, yeah, as you guys can see, he is smaller, which kind of sucks. But, um, anyway, I'll move right along to some size comparisons and I'll see how he stands with some other Dragon Ball Z figures. And hopefully he looks right standing next to Vegeta. And since I mentioned Vegeta, obviously I'm going to show Vegeta first. And as you guys can see. Vegeta is taller than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that well enough. So let me just go ahead and zoom it in. Vegeta 
yes, standing right here, Vegeta is taller than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, pretty disappointing, but uh, yeah, we'll get into some more size comparisons. Now, here he is standing next to the SDCC Piccolo, which I think he looks a little bit more correct standing next to him since Piccolo does tower over Goku and Lord Beers. And for those of you who saw Battle of Gods, you know what I mean when I say that. Now, I don't think Beerus is that much taller than him. I don't know. It just, he looks really short next to him. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be sticking with this Goku mold. And they're probably going to wear it out like they have been doing with every Goku figure they've used for every single body they've made. Which probably means this is going to be the size of Goku for right now. So, yeah, I'll show one more, and then I'll let you guys decide what you think. Now, here he is standing next to the Shore Crew, and of course, he does stand well next to Frieza. He's still towering over him, which is absolutely correct, but Vegeta is just way too tall, so if you're going to pose them together and take pictures of them, you're probably going to have to have Vegeta standing at a distance from him to make it look accurate. Now, my final thoughts on this figure are that it's absolutely awesome. Just like I said when I pulled it out of the package, I do dig it. My only gripe as of right now is just the fact that he is too short. I do not like a short Goku. Man, that is just, that's a disappointment to me. But, um, yeah, one thing I also forgot to mention that uh, his halo is an accessory. I didn't mention that in the accessories. So, yeah, now you guys know that. But, anyway... He's just too short. That's the only thing I dislike about it. But everything else is great. This updated body looks awesome. The faces look awesome. The paint on it is awesome. Everything is great. The updated articulation. I think I said that. I don't know. But yes, it's just, it's all awesome. And honestly, I give this Goku an 8.5 out of 10. The only reason I give it an 8.5 out of 10 is because he's too short. Otherwise, this guy would be a perfect 10 out of 10, especially compared to the mustard colored version that they released that I didn't buy, of course. I ain't wasting my money on that bull crap. But yeah, it's awesome. Just if you don't got it, get it. It's out in America now. He retails for about 50. Highly recommend this guy. If you are a Dragon Ball Z collector and you don't have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, what, what are you doing, bro? Go pick it up. Stop wasting time. But uh, that's my review for this figure. Hope you guys liked it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I highly appreciate it, and it helps my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, What you're watching my reviews for if you're not subscribed. Follow me on everything you see listed in the description below. And as always, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Check out the pictures.